This is part 53 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the differences between partial and render partial HTML helper methods. Please watch part 52 before proceeding. We'll be working with the same example that we started in part 52. Both of these helper methods, that is HTML.partial and HTML.renderPartial, are used for rendering partial views. There are a few differences between them. The primary difference is that the return type of render partial is void, whereas the return type of partial is MVC HTML string. So if you notice, partial function, notice that um, the return type is MVC HTML string, whereas the return type of render partial is void. Okay, that's the primary difference. And depending on whether you are using Razor View Engine or Web Forms view engine, uh, the syntax is going to be slightly different depending on which function you're calling. If it's Razor View Engine and if you're calling partial HTML helper, you call it like that, at HTML dot partial, you pass it the name of the partial view and then if that partial view is expecting a model object, then we can pass it as the second parameter, like so. On the other hand, if we have to invoke render partial, you know, notice that we are wrapping that inside brackets and then the function call ends with a semicolon. And then we are passing the name of the view and the model object that that partial view expects. Now the reason why we have to encapsulate that within the brackets is because you know the return type of this function is void and the output of this function is written directly to the output stream. That's the reason why we have to invoke it like that. And if you are using WebForms view engine, this is how you invoke it. Okay, for partial, you include a colon and then partial name of the partial view and then the model object if any. And if it is render partial, then you will not have colon and it has to end with a semicolon. Okay, so this is one of the common interview question. What are the differences between HTML.partial and HTML.renderPartial? And there could be another interview question. Since we have two methods to render partial views, then obviously, you know, the obvious next question is when would you use partial over render partial and vice versa now we know that the main difference is that you know render partial returns void and the output of render partial will be written directly to the output stream whereas the partial method returns mvc html string which can be assigned to a variable and we can manipulate it you know and then use it in the way we need it so this partial function provides us an opportunity to assign the return type of the function to a variable and manipulate it um, in whatever way we want and use it in whatever way we want. But then render partial is going to write the output directly to the output stream. So we don't have much flex flexibility there. So whenever there is a need to assign the output to a variable for manipulating it, then use partial, else use render partial. And the obvious next question is, which one is better for performance? From a performance perspective, rendering directly to the output stream is better. And that's what render partial does exactly. So that's why render partial is better for performance over partial. Okay, so let's see, you know, using this render partial. So if I use render partial like this, notice that. Let's use an HTML break there. Okay, now I'm not using this syntax, okay? So I'm using the function the same way as partial, okay? Let's save everything and let's refresh this view and see what's gonna happen. So it will throw an exception, okay? So there is an error there, okay? And to correct that, all you need to do is, since this render partial is going to write um, you know, directly to the output stream, you have to wrap that inside brackets and then the function call has to end with a semicolon. Now let's save everything and then let's refresh the view and see if it's gonna work. There you go. Okay, so John Smith, Mary Jane, David Park. You know they're displayed twice because partial is displaying them once, render partial is displaying them the second time. And then we have an HTML break between each employee. Alright. On this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET, C-Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.